in the previous video we have completed with leave salary so let's strike off leave salary first it gives a lot of pleasure to strike it off because now only two is remaining i hope in this video we'll complete retrenchment commission section 10 subsection 10b as well as voluntary retirement compensation section 10 subsection 10c so this will be the last video of the theory mostly on salary if any part is remaining if i feel something more is needed to be given to you all if any amendments then i'll upload more now let's move on to section 10 subsection 10b retrenchment compensation retrenchment compensation this is very simple see how to remember section 10 10bc is section you firstly you remember section 10 and subsection 10bc means bhaga hua employee see i am telling some word in hindi bhaga hua employee means this retrench employee means bhaga and bhagaya hua employee that means he has been retrenched he has been completely removed from the organization so how it will be taxable c exemption because retrenchment compensation is been received from the employer to the employee so such will be taken into the computation of the total salary but there is exemption since section 10 is exemption i am now and then stressing on section 10 i hope this has registered in your brain amount calculated as per industrial dispute act or amount received third maximum 5 lakhs whichever is lower will become exemption this is the very smallest exemption i am teaching in salary i want you all to please copy it down i hope you all have paused the video and copied it down now let's move on to section 10 sub section 10c voluntary retirement compensation voluntary voluntary retirement compensation many a times the employer provides employee voluntary retirement compensation because the employee has taken voluntary retirement so the employee being generous and providing uh, providing compensation to him for his work so he has received an amount and it is the income of the employee the income of the employment income of the scc it will taken into the computation of the total income since section 10 is a exemption section will find out how much exemption will be available and then from the amount received will less exemption and finally in the outer column will take the amount which will be taxable so first latest salary into number of months of service completed so it's not service completed service remaining service remaining this all things will be given in the question so don't worry 3 months into latest salary don't goof up with the poga part of gratuity into number of <clears throat> years of service completed third amount received fourth maximum 5 lakhs whichever is lower will become what will become exemption now first let's write latest salary i'm so sorry i'm not taken it down latest salary is equal to latest 
बेसिक सैलरी प्लस लेटेस्ट डियरेंस अलाउंसेस प्लस लेटेस्ट टर्न ओवर कमीशन ओके नाउ विल फर्स्ट आई नीड टू टेल यू नोट Voluntary retirement compensation is offered only to first any company is not offered to offered by any company. I, I, T, I I T, I I T, I I M, I I M, Cooperative Society, Local Authority. approved in university now let us understand this voluntary retirement compensation this is the formula voluntary retirement compensation is hardly asked in the exam it is rarely asked but if you have a like what you say uh, all the tough questions will be asked in all your in your attempt only and <laughs> that you will not be knowing so better be prepared for the worst this or uh, i since the last many years i have not seen this voluntary retirement compensation and retrenchment compensation so there might be a possibility or theory question for four marks may come in the exam to write about the exemption under section 10 subsection subsection 10c directly without telling voluntary retirement compensation so i want you all to be prepared about this so let's complete voluntary retirement compensation then again we'll revise both the part section 10 subsection 10b and section in subsection 10c now let's complete voluntary retirement compensation it will be exempted exempted in the following manner latest salary into number of months of service completed service not completed sorry service remaining service remaining 3 months into latest salary don't goof up with poga into number of years of service completed third amount received Fourth maximum five lakhs, whichever is lower will become exemption. Latest salary is equal to latest basic salary plus latest dearance allowances plus latest turnover commission. Don't goof up with poga because in poga there is latest basic salary plus latest dearance allowances only. There is no turnover commission. So please be cautious. I will recommend you all to firstly remember. gratuity and after remember this after that remember this because gratuity is a frequently asked question in the exam so don't better so better don't goof up in gratuity by taking turnover commission also a uh, voluntary retirement compensation is offered only by any company iit iim cooperative society local authority and approved institute university okay so I I hope you all have not copied this voluntary retirement compensation thing. So please firstly pause the video and copy this much. I hope you all have copied. Please copy the remaining part. I hope you all have copied the remaining part also well. Retrenchment compensation section 1010B amount calculated as per Industrial Dispute Act amount received maximum five lakh whichever is lower will become exemption amount received that is retrenchment compensation less exemption under section 1010BC whatever amount whichever is lower we have received an amount amount minus whichever is lower in the outer column whatever the amount come will become the taxable value of retrenched compensation 
section 1010c voluntary retirement compensation latest salary into number of months of service remaining why months of service remaining because he has voluntarily retired since take an example he estimate working for his life was 40 years but he has retired in 30 years only so 10 years are remaining latest salary into 10 years second three months into latest salary into number of years of service completed third amount received fourth maximum five lakhs number of years of service completed no rounding off okay i'll write here better i'll write otherwise you all will goof up no rounding no rounding off maximum five lakh whichever is lower will become exemption latest salary is equal to basic salary plus latest dearance allowances plus latest turnover commission note voluntary retirement compensation is offered only by any company iit iim cooperative society local authorities approved univers university please i i humbly request you all to please listen my entire video because when i am revising you all also do revise because listening a good listener will automatically listen two to three times and half of the work is completed there at least half uh, at least half you will memorize that time only and when you start studying on your own that time entire 100 percent will not be memorized at least 80 percent will be memorized when you read two to three times or when you apply it when you do some then 100 percent you will memorize it okay since our theory is completed we'll start from the next video practical sums and do check the practical sums thank you